kitty. Kitty. Snowball. Kitty. Hello everybody on YouTube, it's Zeldin here, the Magician Master 100, known as the Master of All Spellcasters, here to do another anime review, and it's a Christmas special! Somewhat, I don't know. Today's anime review is the uh, Pokemon Christmas special, Holiday Hijinks. I don't really know why I'm reviewing this. It's just somewhat bad, I guess. It's got no plot, and, of course, it doesn't even talk about Christmas at all, except, you know, the only thing that's Christmas-like is seeing Santa Claus and something like that. And that's it. Not really that much. Well, I better start doing this crappy review. The story starts off with, you know, Jesse living in some sort of just giant castle that looks like an insane asylum. Looks like she's sleeping until you know, she heard a knock on her window. And after that, turns out that she thinks it was Santa Claus. Well, not really think it was Santa Claus. She was just like practicing for a trap for Santa. Which it was dre just James dressed up as Santa Claus. And that was it. Which I don't know what's the point of practicing if, you know, it's not even, you know, Christmas Eve. Wait, does it even say if it's Christmas Eve or not? No, I don't think it does. It doesn't even say if it's Christmas Eve or not. And of course, the reason why Jesse wants to catch Santa so badly, she said 10 Christmas ago, which it probably means 10 years ago, because 10 Christmases is probably 10 years ago. So anyway, about like probably 10 years ago, Jesse was sleeping, hoping to catch Santa Claus. But of course, out of nowhere, coming down her chimney, it was a Jinx cosplaying as Santa Claus, except the only thing it was missing, or technically she, because all Jinx are female, was a beard. Yeah, that'd be kind of disturbing, you know, with a Jinx having a beard or something like that. Now, the thing about Jinx are, in the original Pokemon version, uh, Jinx used to have, like, black-like faces, uh, not to sound racist or anything, because... I have to give the people who remake the Jinx to black to purple. I gotta give them credit there because it would look racist right there. I guess because she does look mis like Mr. Popo's wife. But then again, originality is what I prefer, I guess. So anyway. Uh, where was I? Oh, yes. So Jesse looks at the cosplay to Jinx. Or, I looks at the Jinx, I might as well just say. I know I've been staring into space a lot. It's just that, that bad, and I just can't... Oh, I can't have my head straight. I really have, you know, don't have my head straight. Uh, so anyway, uh, so the Jinx looks down at the doll that's on the floor that looks a little bit broken. And so she takes the doll and then, you know, goes back up and to the chimney somehow. How does it go back in the chimney? Does it magically float in midair? Does Santa throw down a rope and pulls the jinx up? So Jessie got upset for the jinx tailing her doll, or she assumes that was Santa Claus. She's like, oh boy, I saw Santa Claus! It's a jinx! Santa Claus is a jinx! Uh... Yeah, a lot of people say Santa Claus is this, Santa Claus looks like that. But do we even have proof that he looks like that? Hmm? Ah, so anyway. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I know, the whole eye thing. I gotta get out of that habit right now. Uh, oh, yeah. So after when they showed the whole Jesse's past thing... Ash and his friends, I mean, most of the time the narrator always keeps saying, Ash and his friends, and all that. Yeah, I mean, couldn't they just say Misty and Brock? But of course, I guess there's no point to that, because they always replace certain characters, in, except for Ash. They replaced Brock with Tracy, and then Brock came back, then they replaced uh, Brock again with uh, Dento, his original name. 
but of course they, his dub name is Silent. And then Missy gets replaced crap loads of times. She got replaced by May, and then May got replaced by Dawn, and then Dawn got replaced by the new character in Pokemon, Iris. Uh, so I guess there's no point of saying Ash and so and so, I guess, because they're just going to get replaced anyway. So anyway, Ash is somehow shocked at seeing a Pokemon. Yeah, it's not like you see a Pokemon all the time. I know, I'm just... Just can't keep my head straight. Or my eyes straight, I guess. It's not like it's a metal con condition. I just feel like moving my eyes a lot. So anyway, Ash feels like he wants to catch that Pokemon. So he sends out Pikachu using Thunderbolt on Jinx. After... That, you know, Jinx is still standing. So J Ash just sends out his Charmander. And of course, since back then, Jinx was only considered a psychic type back in the day. And in the near future, they made her into an ice type. So I guess it's super effective anyway. Uh, so Ash tries to catch it, but of course, it didn't work because Jinx already belongs to someone else. So they're wondering who the Jinx belongs to, and they notice that Jinx happens to be holding the boot. So I guess they couldn't see Jinx holding the boot and somewhat rubbing it, I guess. Uh, well, whatever. Anyway, they see that Jinx's original owner could happen to be owning that boot. Would be Captain Obvious right there. So they try to see who the Jinx belongs to, and what a shocking moment! It turns out it's Santa Claus, who happens to have a face on his boot with a snowflake. Okay, you know what, I'm going to look this up. Give me a quick second there, guys. All right, let's see. Let's look this up. In the, okay, the dub editing. Let's see what it says. In the Japanese version, Santa wrote his name in Katakanana? Seriously? But inside the... In his boot, in the English dub version, was replaced with a photo of Santa Claus running by a snowflake border. Okay, who puts a face on their clothing? Could you just imagine what it'd be like if you had your face on your clothing? Or any footwear of that sort? With a snowflake around it? I mean, seriously? Ugh. My God. The things that most, you know, editing an American would do to, you know, animate these days. Back to the story. So, they happen to find a raft, which just come out of nowhere. And, of course, they were thinking of sending out their water Pokemon to pull on the raft. But of course, after like a couple of minutes, they're out of breath. So you're out of breath. Of course, you know, you're probably carrying a lot of weight, I gotta admit there. Or give them that. But of course, they're saying, gotta move faster, gotta move faster. Pull, 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 pull. I can, you know, I don't know. I don't really care. I, I mean, this episode's just that bad. Anyway, so their Pokemon is tired out again. So Ash who feels like he should be the one who does it, so he strips down into his underpants, which, surprisingly, I mean, last time when, you know, Ash stripped down to his underpants, Missy started growing, you know, red on her face. But yet she doesn't grow red again. Seriously? Um, so anyway, in the freezing water, and surprising he's not really chilly, well, of course, technically, it's summer around where they're at, um, they come out of something come out of nowhere. A voice, a pedophile voice saying, You're going the wrong way. Yeah, kind of strange. And Ash is like, Huh? What's that? Eh, I don't care. So he starts pulling again, and of course, uh, he um, ends up under. Alright, I'm just gonna, you know, screw that. He ends up under water. He sees a magically appear out of nowhere that looks like a Pokemon evolving into a certain shape, but of course, out of nowhere, who's that Pokemon? It turned out it was Pit 
in the Who's That Pokemon is Pidgeotto, but in the original Japanese version, Who's That Pokemon was Jinx. But, of course, somehow out of nowhere, a Lapras who knows telepathy started talking to them, saying that Santa Claus, you know, sent the Lapras, and all that. So the Lapras leads them all the way to Santa's workshop, which, my god, it looks like freaking uh, Superman's ice fortress. I mean, you would think that, you know, what would it be like if Santa Claus and, you know, Superman became roommates. I bet, you know, Superman would be like, Santa, I want my rent. And Santa would be like, ho, 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 ho. All right, then, here's your rent. Then he hands him a either a toy or a two or anything like that. And he, Santa would be like, well, Superman, excuse me, like, what the hell is this? I want money. Don't you get money out of this? He'd be like, ho, 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 no. I don't get money out of this. Ho, ho, ho. All I it is the happy faces on those children's faces. Ho, 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 ho. Yes, the happy little faces on the children. So, anyway, out of nowhere, Team Rocket comes in their Gyarados sub, which, of course, I mean, they had two different subs a Gyarados sub and a, Lap a Magikarp sub. I almost said Lapras. Excuse me. Um, a Gyarados and a Magikarp uh, sub. Which I don't get what's the point of these two different subs. Can't they just stick with one and be on with that? But of course, it, you know, just got rid of it by, you know, the, the Diamond and Pearl. And ever since they went to Issue, which that's the Japanese version name of it, or Unova in the dub version. It just got removed anyway. Well, not removed, but just got rid of anyway. So anyway, Team Rocket launches a missile, which, well, it was a rocket launcher. But anyway, they all freak out, they all freak out, they all freak out. And the distra distraction of them just freaking out, Team Rocket grabs Jinx and, of course, kidnaps her. And, of course, it turns out it was just a net launcher. Ha, ha, ha. You kids can't, you know, even tell from between a net launcher or a rocket. Ho, ho, ho. But, of course, they went back. And Team Rocket went to... I, did I say Wentz? I'm sorry. I really need to get my mind straight. Uh, I'm really sorry about that, guys. Just really need to get my uh, mind straight. So they went to the workshop, which, it, of course, Jesse's still assuming that it's Santa Claus, you know, Jinx. But, of course, how stupid she is in the dub version saying, Look, there's a crap load of Santa Clauses inside. And you got to think, really? Really? I know I love the wacky Team Rocket better than the new, serious, but yet it's the same time, smarter Team Rocket, I guess. But seriously, I mean, you can't be that stupid. But of course, finally she realizes that Jinx is not Santa Claus, but just Santa Claus's workers. And Santa Claus is like, ho, 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 I better hope that Jinx comes back with my boot, as I sent Lapras out there, and all that. But any way, the, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. So, uh, J Santa, they go into Santa's workshop, and after that team, knowing Santa Claus, he would probably know them by now, but yet he doesn't in the, you know, in both versions, I guess. He doesn't know. I mean, yet. He, you know, who know, he knows who's naughty and who's nice, but yet he doesn't know Team Rocket. What the hell? Is this guy really that stupid? You know, and everyone always says that Santa Claus has checked his list, checking it twice, but I guess he hasn't checked it enough, knowing that how you know stupid he is, not knowing how Team Rocket is. And of course, Ash had to explain it himself. 
That's... People are nice, they're on your naughty list. So Team Rocket kidnaps Santa Claus and Ash and the others. Yeah, still not surprised. And of, of course, this is going to probably be shocking to you. In the, um... The reason why Jesse, as you already know, uh, the Jinx stole Jesse's doll. And, well, Santa Claus, you know, explains to why he doesn't bring the doll back. Because he, now bear with me, that just because Jesse does not believe in Santa Claus anymore, so he has no power at all to bring the doll back. You gotta think, really? I mean, Jesse had a grudge against the guy. She always kept saying that she wants to get Santa Claus and all that. True, she believed that uh, Jinx was Santa Claus, but doesn't that count for something? I mean, seriously, is this guy just powerless when you just say you don't believe in Santa Claus? Uh, but of course, in the Japanese version, someone had a little bit make more sense, but someone doesn't. In the Japanese version, uh, the Santa Claus explains that he tried to return the doll back, but of course he couldn't because Jesse moved away. Uh -huh. I mean, this guy's supposed to be like the, you know, guy who knows where you sleep, and he knows if you're awake, and yet he doesn't know where you live. I mean, he travels all over the world for God. Wow, I mean, I don't, I kind of don't believe in Santa Claus, I have to admit. But my God, the the things that people say about this guy. I mean, really? Seriously? But of course, Jinx uses her telepathy on Jesse, and realizing, Oh, I better go get that doll that I took so long ago, that I've been holding for ten years. And for somehow, the, the Jinx was running towards somewhere not near the workshop, and it comes back so fast, in about five seconds, happens to have the doll with, with it, Jinx. Where's the doll been anyway? Has it been in the snow? Was it under a tr Christmas tree? Was it... Where was it? You know, how did the Jinx get it so fast? So anyway, Jesse is like, Oh, you brought my doll back. Oh, how nice. And of course, anyway, she still wants to take the gift anyway. And the confusing is about the episode that she sends out wheezing. Which I'm somewhat, you know, surprised, I guess. I almost forgot to mention that she that was before the, um, the whole kidnapping Santa Claus. Or was, no, it, it was actually during the kidnapping of Santa Claus. I, my mistake. Uh, still think... <laughs> Why? Wow, it's just that bad of an episode. I can't get my head on straight. Here. There. So, of course, Lapras stops uh, Team Rocket, freezes them, and then Ash, you know, unfreezes them with Flamethrower. And, of course, Santa Claus uses all of his jinx to use Psychic to take the gifts back. And, of course, somehow... The psychic makes an explosion, and that's causing Team Rocket to have a blast off. And uh, Santa went on his late little sleigh, and the only Pokemon he had to pull the sleigh wasn't. Now bear with me, wasn't a reindeer, but a Ponyta. I mean, ah, uh, wow. This so far doesn't seem really much Christmas, other than seeing Santa Claus, and that's it. Um. Anyway. So, somehow, the Ponyta pull Santa's leg, and, of course, goes flying in the night, and then Ash reels like, Oh, I forgot to tell Santa Claus what I want! And then Lapras like, Oh, don't worry, Santa Claus knows. Yeah, if he knows what Ash and Misty and Brock wanted, then how come he did not know where Misty lived? Or how could he not, uh, you know, know that Team Rocket is on his... Naughty list. My God, seriously? So then during the end of the episode, that Team Rocket tried to go to sleep to make sure that Santa Claus would come, but Meowth had a good point. After the stunt they pulled, uh, you know, <laughs> there's no way Santa Claus is going to visit them now. 
But of course, Jinx comes in that same cosplay, does her signature attack, puts them to sleep, and of course, you hear the ho ho ho, and that's it. So what's the moral of the story? Or what's the plot of it? I don't know. Seriously, this episode has no plot, and it's not really that Christmas-like. I'm sorry, it's really not that Christmas-like. The only thing Christmas-like is the boot with the snowflake with Santa Claus's face on it, and just plain Santa Claus himself. That's it. There's just nothing Christmas-like. It's just no plot. It's that... I'm sorry. For those of you who love this episode, it's kind of that bad of an episode. I mean, it's just like... They just want to throw something at a kid, or kids, so they don't understand what the plot or meaning of anything, and they just hope to like it. But when they get older, they're like, wow, I can't believe I watched that. It was that bad. What was the plot of it again? What was the story of this? I don't get it. Well, that's the holiday hijinks. Still don't get the plot or the moral of the story. I'm guessing is the only way to satisfy you or me is if you don't believe in Santa Claus, you won't get anything. Or if you move somewhere else, you're screwed. He won't come to you and you won't get anything. Well, that's my vid. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry that it seemed crappy. I've been staring into space. Um, my eyes have been moving a lot. I always kept mentioning my head's not on straight. Or, I mean... What I do is, I don't really write much of a script, and I just go with it, I just wing it with my videos, and then when I'm done doing this video, I just upload it. So I hope you guys are a little bit satisfied with this video. Um, so, comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, check out my bro's channel, Music One, Ma <laughs> excuse me, Music One Dragon 69, or check out me and my bro's channel, Musical One Master 100. Well, see ya.